1 2 3 4 Welcome back to Technical and Pictorial Drawing at helveticamediumae.com.au In this video I'm going to make an action for creating planimetric um, projections in Illustrator. Those of you who have been familiar with actions in Photoshop might know how to use actions. Uh, I'm going to open window, get off QuickTime, window actions. Now I've been talking about actions in my uh, isometric page and you might be able to see here that I've already got a heap of actions that I've downloaded off the internet for isometric transformations but I need an action for planimetric transformation so I'm going to make that now I'm going to create a new set and I'm going to call it planimetric transformation and I'm going to click OK then I'm going to create a new action and I'm going to call it plan let's keep it consistent with my other ones Plano right and I'm going to click record now and I have a square here that I'm going to transform so I'm going to go object transform scale and I've already set that because I've been practicing to 70.7 percent on non-uniform so what I'm doing is I'm just bringing the sides in 70.7 percent then I'm going to shear it object transform shear and you can see that the preview is already giving me a, a vertical axis is vertical and minus 45 degrees shears it now that should be it there so I'm going to press stop on the action let's pack that up planimetric transformations you can see it there I'm going to let's make a square and I'll play that and see if it works 50 by 50 select plano right play it and it works beautiful I'm going to create plano left now so let's create a new square 50 by 50 and I'm going to create a new action I'm going to call it plan no left I'm going to start recording it select the object again I need to transform the scale non-uniform to 70.7 percent and then this time I need to shear it the other way so shear 45 degrees let's preview that and see if it's right yes press OK and press stop on the action so let's have a look at that so if I was going to make some parts here now I'll zoom in a little bit for you so if I'm going to make a square let's let's make a cube let's have three of these one's going to be the left one's the right and one's the top by the way, you can do this with ellipses too now that I've created the actions. Select Plano right. Sorry, I forgot to select the object. Plano right and press play. I have that. Plano left and press play. I have that. We all know that we don't distort planimetric, we just rotate it 45 degrees. Let's bring these in together now. Not sure if it's accurate. Yeah, no, it's not. I think that's the right. No, that's about the right place there. That's about the right place there. I've done mine on 0.25 of a point to keep it nice and accurate. Let's make this a bit thicker now so that you can see it. Let's get the stroke and make the corner rounded and there we have a fantastic planimetric cube thanks for watching i hope that helps you make planimetrics and uh, don't forget to create your own actions for anything you